Hello. Hello Welcome to the fucking podcast. Welcome to episode Hi. 40, 46. 46. 46, yes. that's right. 46, let's fucking Woo. go. Yeah. Um, Welcome to sometimes something. Big old yeah. Colton's got a big yeah. surprise coming up. Uh, fuck, speaking... I've been trying to brainstorm and I can't think of anything. <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, and on... no. Oh, wait, wait, surprises. there's a stranger here. Wait, what's this? Yeah, we have the first <laughs> ever guest. Oh my god, oh, someone who's that's... invaded the podcast. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Is that from it? Everyone say hello to Alex. This is Alex. Alex. Yeah. Let They're him introduce himself. Yeah, well, Alex. no, you introduce him. Like, one of the you hosts know, introduce I, him. I would actually prefer it if each of you introduced me as you know me. Ah. Oh, this yeah. This is Alex. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, he once put a drill through his hand. Um. Yeah. 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 Hey. That's that's what I know about <laughs> Alex. No. Yeah. Colton, where, 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 where? How do you know Calvin? Or Calvin, Alex? Calvin. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, Calvin, I wish I did. How do you know me, buddy? I wish yeah, I did. He, honestly, he knows me very well. This is Alex, and Alex works. <laughs> that is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is not fair. Mm-hmm. That's not good. Mm-hmm. Colton knows nothing. Have you met? Have you guys met? Oh, we met life? Alex. We met a couple of times. Oh yeah, yeah. Alex, actually, actually no, Alex times. came to my birthday party. And Alex, we had you should really have said no. That would have been so fucking funny. Did have you no have? Who you did are. you have those really gross shots with us? Did you I did. Oh my god, yeah. those things were disgusting. You want to describe we were... what those, they, they were to the audience? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> any of those. I just it was it was not fun. Uh, yeah. Was it like gross, gross or were they just it was taste like, like it was yeah. bright blue Windex? I invited you to come, Calvin. Listen, I don't leave my house for anybody. <laughs> I learned I learned that Colton is friends with one of my cousins too. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh cool. right, I remember hearing yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Small, Small world. world. And what about you, Kari? How do you know? How do you know, Alex? Uh, Alex has a, a black chair. He has a microphone. <laughs> he has a bit of a slight bowl cut. I didn't think this was gonna go down. Did you hill, say so slight uh, bowl cut? <laughs> almost bowl cut. <laughs> There's nothing bowl cutting about that. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's it's a normal <laughs> haircut. A bowl it's cut like, is like it's, bangs, it's like it's almost. Around. It's like slightly. It's like almost. Colton there. is closer to a bowl it's cut even... than than Alex is right now. Are you calling? <laughs> are you saying he has a cheap haircut? Is that what you're trying to say, Kari? Oh, it's cheap about bowl cut. No, he's gonna hide his hair. The rest of it. like I didn't think Carter was gonna hide my hair. That insults yeah. him for the whole podcast. That's what <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> is a, it is well, a mediocrely priced haircut? Thank you very much. <laughs> it <laughs> cost me twenty seven dollars. I'll have yeah, it. Yeah, he cost me forty. Is that actually the, the price of a head haircut? Like I don't know. Like because when I get my haircut, it's usually pretty cheap. Like how much do 30, you spend? 30, 40. How much hair do you have? Yeah, that's around I mean, I have like short it hair. De- it's like I think it depends. It's just like a trim usually. Wait, do do haircuts get priced differently depending on how much hair you're getting cut off? Yes. Well, like uh, I mean, you if you're doing dealing with long hair, like I have, like my hair used to be longer and it's like frizzy and annoying, and when I cared, <laughs> um, it depends on like, like usually longer hair is more of a nightmare to work with, so you want to go to somebody better. Like I've definitely had my hair cut a few times and worked on for like hundreds of dollars. Hundreds. Um, because I've also like had like cheap ones that I just you know like nowadays I just you we know must have like the cheap ones. Because <laughs> that, that, that specific your hundred. That Go was ahead. like that was like I'm first, picturing I'm picturing just lockdown. like sleek straight blonde hair where you got your hair. No no no. <laughs> like until lockdown, I was doing. I don't yeah, most of my hair cuts hair hair What? Well, I didn't do it much. I'm just saying. Kind of. Mm. Like, if you go to great clips for, like, a complicated... Something complicated, especially if you have curls, it's, like... It's not a good idea. It's always dependent know? on who you go to. Like, everyone's gonna have their flat yeah. rate of, like, okay, yeah, this is just how much is... Yeah, 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 men's yeah. haircut and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I feel like men's are easier because it's short... You know, you do short fade longer on the top mm-hmm. and you're done. I feel like everyone's done that for the last ten years. Yeah. Anyways. Kate, how so do you welcome to the podcast. podcast. <laughs> yeah, Kate, you didn't introduce. You didn't talk about. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, Alex has been one of my my friends since I was in the the sixth grade. He's kind of stuck around. Oh, that's pretty OG. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I stuck. I stuck around. <laughs> yeah. well, it was that's a long time. Thirteen. That would have been sixteen years almost. Yeah, something like that. 15, 16 years. Yeah. Yeah. Sixteen yeah, yeah, yeah. years. Like I think. Fifteen and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen years almost. Yep. That's crazy. Damn. Man, time flies. Yeah. That's over. That's over years. half our life. Jeez, I just realized that. What yeah, kept the bond so strong for all those years? Alcohol. 
<laughs> it helps. <laughs> Definitely it helps. Help. It helps yeah. Uh, probably yeah. similar interests in video games, to be honest. Yeah, uh, video yeah. games, yeah. movies. Oh, I video feel like games. that's such a good one because even if you move apart or you do different jobs or, or oh, whatever, yeah. Everyone, because you know, as long as you, you got you got a bit of like free time overlap, everyone's gonna still play games together. Oh yeah. Like, if easily. I think back, I mean, I played a lot of games, obviously, but like if I think back to most of my friends from high school, they're all people I played game, like that I still talk to. Like a good like 70 percent of them are all people I played games with. For sure. What games did you guys bond over? What was your uh, your go tos? What would be the main one? Probably Halo Three. And I would two. say Halo Three. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. That's a classic. I was actually we had that we one. spent yeah. Yeah, you know the of... uh, the the first like, actual mission. I guess I think it's called Sierra One One Seven. Uh, we would there was one night we stayed up to like probably six in the morning just hiding underneath a staircase in the like the military base, hucking grenades out and blowing up the NPCs for our <laughs> like our. <laughs> I feel team. like I've done that as well, that exact <laughs> thing. Maybe not the same spot, but just like yeah. teasing it like that. Yeah, just yeah. seeing yeah, how we, long we used to go. do that on our. My, I had a 13 inch TV with a VCR in the bottom. We played split screen on that <laughs> yeah. for like 12 hours. You saw the six inches of screen. <laughs> yeah. Those are the memories, huh? That's how oh, yeah. it is bonded. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of forge, a lot of foundry forge, yeah. oh, all forge, that yeah. jazz. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. I remember a lot of memories of my close friends who I'm still friends with to this day, like early high school, late elementary school. The um, because some of us didn't have like consoles when, whenever we were at each other's places. Like the person that did have the console, um, we would all just go to their place, and that would be just like the core area that we'd mm. always hang out and like other people's mm -hmm. friends houses it's like nah that's fine they got the, always the it's always the friend with like the big basement or whatever yeah yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. With enough room and you're like, exactly yeah. you get yeah. left alone the most and so exactly, like a big yeah. area it's like these are the cool parents my parents would have <laughs> understood it was always yeah. the parents that bought a pizza for each of the kids too <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, like, that's, yeah. that's everybody yeah. everybody got their own pizza that was like that was the coolest shit <laughs> it was <laughs> imagine when I when I grew up, I went to school like in North Van, but I live in Lions Bay. For people that don't know Vancouver, it's it's almost like a forty five minute drive. Like Lions Bay is like very much kind of like out of the city. It's like on the like about as outskirty as you can get. I mean, you guys were further, but I'm guessing you went to school kind of like kind of locally. But for me, it was like no, none of my friends like you don't hang out when it's like a forty five minute drive along the highway, right? So yeah, whenever but people love coming over to my place because it always turned into like a two day thing. And we'd bring like mattresses out and like we'd go to people's houses to pick up their TVs and we'd mm -hmm. end up with like twelve people in my parents' basement. We'd oh, all yeah. play games for like the whole weekend. It was always so much fun. You had land but it was kind of like basement? a big community. Like, yeah. Well yeah, with like ten people. Did you duct tape someone to the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't think <laughs> we ever did that. For those who don't know, there's this like party. famous picture of like a land party. And then oh, there's some person yeah, there's like on the roof. Ceiling. Duct tape oh, he's still playing, right? Yeah. yeah just they couldn't put him anywhere. I don't think we ever, we never duct taped anyone to anything. We didn't want to damage stuff. We should have. <laughs> That's a classic. But yeah, we used to do that a lot. It's always always a lot of fun. I remember we would just we would spend like Friday evening driving around picking up like people's big CRTs and their <laughs> Xboxes like after school. It'd be like six people somehow jammed into a pickup truck and going around picking up CRTs. Just looks like someone did a that theft like from Radio thing. Shack in the back. That's so good. It's full yeah, of TVs. Yeah, 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 it probably would look real sketchy. You pull over and just all this electronic equipment in the back. <laughs> so, what are you guys? Uh, you guys? Is that yours? Yeah, Speaking of funny. which, I know we're all used to this world now, where games are just portable by default, mm. like the Steam Deck. And but do you remember like having this idea of like someone bringing their GameCube or their their PS2 and like having those little DVD players? Um, oh yeah, yeah, those little portable players. Yeah, you would take you them like, on like your on the road go. trips or something. No, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the greatest thing ever. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember when we opened up our first portable dvd player and it had like the auxiliary or sorry it had yeah, the video yeah. and audio inputs on the side and i was lost my shit i was like wait frank <laughs> let's play station two yeah, yeah. play guitar hero while we're camping like <laughs> just so cool yeah yeah 
Yeah. Uh, my parents really were always days. like, whenever we went camping, they were super anti-tech, so my, they mm. would get mad. Yeah. But mm. there was another family we would go camping with, and they would, like, we would go camping like tents, and sometimes just a rope and a tarp to sleep under. But there was mm. another family we would go with, and they had like a massive RV. So anytime yeah. we went with them, it was great, because all the kids would just fuck off to the RV and go play video games in there, where the parents were being <laughs> like, never. Kids these parents, days. Was, yeah. parents are just getting hammered at the fire. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I think that's what saved us. Is they were like, they were in there. I want to just drink. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. It's They're freedom like, for us. Don't bother them. Just let them. Be. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I'm pretty. In hindsight, I'm like, if I was a parent, I'd definitely be like, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's what cancels my for. excuse to not be a responsible parent. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I would be. Oh, if I ever had kids, they're going to be such like. What do they call them? They're just addicted to the screen. iPad babies iPad babies, yeah, but... dude. They're gonna be <laughs> iPad, yeah, humans. Goddamn. I bet you. Yeah, their whole life with boy. that. <laughs> I'm yeah. never having kids, so there you go. Easy peasy. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, crazy, crazy news lately. There's a uh, a Neuromancer TV series that's gonna be happening in Apple, and the reason why it's crazy. What is, is this? Because it's called yeah, what's, Neuromancer, what's, and it's just, what is this? Um, it's a book. That was the basically um, the predecessor cyberpunk novel. I, I I'm not sure if it was oh, really? the same time. Mm -hmm. as... I was gonna say, is it like a techno? It's, it's considered yeah, it's, to be one of the best it's... known cyberpunk novels in history, and it was made exactly. in 1962 by Williams Gibson. I could have sworn mm -hmm. if it was around the same times as, as Electra. Uh, do 1984? Um, Sheep's Dream of Electric. Or no, Jesus Christ! How does it? Is that electric sheep. Electric Sheep. So it's getting turned into a movie or a TV show? A TV show, and it's like The Matrix was based off of it. Oh um, wow, that's cool. oh that's cool. I wonder if it's because Dune's done so. Exactly. They're so looking like for like cool IP. Yeah, and they're Android going... Stream of Electric Sheep. That's the one of the most famous ones. That I've made. never heard of, of any of these. And mm -hmm. Neuromancer, I think, was written a little bit before, but then it was published after because he's like, oh fuck, this is this is literally the book that I've been making, and then this publisher was just saying said go for it just make it um i remember reading a bit of it but it's a it's a slog like the jargon oh, I mean, that you're reading yeah, of course in this in this book is just ridiculous it's like think of cyberpunk 27 27 and you think of like whatever random bullshit that they come out with for what the npcs say jacked it up to like 10 times the amount and then just really dense descriptions of just the most huh. wacky things so, holy it's yeah, pretty Apple so. TV. It's Apple TV show that's coming out. Um, apparently, yeah. apparently yeah. after he watched Gibson, the and he's a yeah. Vancouver uh, resident oh, cool. or Vancouver born, born. Yeah. Pa apparently, he oh, had cool. to re, re he rewrote the first two thirds of the book twelve times because he was afraid that people were gonna think he was copying it from Blade Runner. Yeah, exactly. Like copying yeah. like the <laughs> like the style of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because he like so. I guess he was writing it as like Blade Runner came out and then yeah he had to like exactly. rewrite it. <laughs> Yeah, twelve mm. times. Holy crap! Yeah, I know. It must be it's, horrible it's at taking been a long tests. Journey of it trying to get made as a fe uh, feature. Oh, really? and I think uh, who was the director that did uh, District Nine? Um, Neil Blomkamp. Uh, yeah, I think he was Blancamp. attached to it for a little while, and then maybe and then some other directors. But it's just been you know in the uh, development hell uh, hmm. process. But now that it's actually guess... announced that it's being made, I'm like, holy shit, that's gonna be high budget. Crazy. TV show streaming, I guess, is the place for it. That's cool. Yeah, I guess That's so. crazy. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a sci-fi nerd a bit, and yeah. I've never heard of it. Not even yeah, kind heard of either. It'll, of it'll be yeah. like it'll get the Dune treatment, where it's like it'll come back into the zeitgeist and be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's, that's cool. Then That's everybody so will come Usually, out like, saying I, no I've heard, heard the title of stuff like this. Yeah, but actually, literally, never knowing it, and half of you apparently know who wrote it and shit. That's crazy. Like, that's oh, cool. I was just, I was just that's looking exciting. it up. Oh, okay. I was like, how the fuck does everyone you guys were like knew everything? I was like, what the hell? And they got the whole backstory on like the author. <laughs> is the title like so is it like Necromancer but tech, or is that just a cool name? Uh I don't remember. I think so. It's like you're injecting yourself into like the, the world, oh, the cool. tech world. So mm. it's almost like you're going through it. That sounds like something a uh, like Warhammer 40k Mechanicus stuff. I'm sure that's yeah, where they. Uh, that's it. Mechanicus is like heavily inspired by that. It sounds like that maybe that'd be cool. I do remember there? there's yeah. Anyways, I, I I can't remember that. Well, old so old sci-fi is always kind of fun because mm -hmm. it tends to like be a bit different. 
yeah. than like modern sci-fi. Like modern sci-fi is, I mean, like old sci-fi still have tropes because they started like the tropes. Yeah. But like Dune and stuff, I feel like there's a bit of like authenticity and weirdness mm-hmm. because it was written 50, 60, 70 years ago. So yeah. it ends up being just like different enough, but it's still, you know, it's still got the fun sci-fi stuff. And it's like, um, yeah, there's no other you know, like modern, we have now. Yeah, Modern sci-fi is just um, give them laser swords. <laughs> and, you know. Just talk about Rebel Moon 2 Part 2 or something. Did any of you guys watch it yet or no? Rebel Moon? No, yet. Yeah. Not incomplete. Yeah. Other than I, I started watching the first one yeah. and I was like, oh, look, Zack Snyder ruined it with color grading. Cool. <laughs> and I stopped watching it. <laughs> Oh, so that, guy needs, that guy needs a color setup that he's not allowed to go above like 1.2 percent or like like 20 percent more contrast <laughs> like he's not allowed it locks him out because i swear that motherfucker doesn't okay, look at something decent looking and then just slides it to max and goes oh it's edgy <laughs> i absolutely yeah i do not like his color correction hmm. just get a programmer Things to lock his to lock yeah his exactly threshold. Or just, just fucking put a piece of tape or something. I don't know. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I don't mind it. It's, it's it's different than everything else. I mean, there was definitely a That's time like three. Nice I mean, yeah. it's it saying, works perfectly for three hundred though. Like looking at the comic strips. There's stuff that he's done that's incredible with it. You know what I mean? I just feel like. Yeah, like Watchmen. Watchmen. I feel like he. Watchmen, it yeah. feels like he just puts a filter on everything that's super contrasting mm. sometimes versus working into some of the scenes, and I feel like River, but, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm sure any of his colorists or himself could pick my ass at making anything look pretty, but right. I just think it's a bit... It you feels like it's just like a filter pretty. they add at the end. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> was that, Alex? Anyways. <laughs> anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, uh, transition we... time. Uh... <laughs> we gotta stop saying segue, <laughs> or transition! <laughs> it's supposed to be... <laughs> We oh, were going to talk about something earlier, and then we all shut up about it. Do you remember? Are we talking about Age of Empires? We Age can. Empires there's we there's something else, too. There's something oh, else. We did Alex, is your work. What? Yeah. No, no we no, weren't no, going to no, talk we, about The that. point was not <laughs> talking about that. Oh, the not point was just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, NDA, NDA, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> there was an NDA! I can't yeah. talk about it. Oh, yeah, Colton, we you have a thing. You have an object in your hand that you showed. Oh, this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you were going to talk about that. <laughs> I love how just, like, uninterested I sounded, and I was like, no, I shouldn't. I should come up with more energy there. Uh, no, it's a, the next cosplay I'm doing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and what is this? What is this next cosplay? Uh, it's a Van Brace for the um, uh, Dragonborn DLC character, Mirak. Oh, that's uh, sick. For Skyrim. Nice. Oh. So I'm literally cramming to the to the end of the week to get this done, which whatever, should be fine. Whatever happened to the... Was it? Oh fuck! The Elden Ring helmet. Oh, I'm still doing that too. I just want oh, to do okay. quick, faster ones, like just to. Get yeah, because that one's kind of fucking major. No, this that thing was is insane. I'm still sanding it to this day. So. Yeah, I bet. And you still have like all the armor and shit. To... Yeah. Yeah. Fucking it. But yeah, this that, one's that would be easy cool. because two van braces, shoulders, um, and then the mask, which is relatively easy, and then, like two little almost like ornaments, ornament kind of things that wrap around your. Uh, your bicep and then that's it and i already have all the the robes that go with the character so i'll be fun because we got the did you make the robes too i did that this was a cosplay i did back in cg masters days back in oh wow school oh wow and then i just like Mm. it was also pretty shoddily done because i was inexperienced at the time but now i can 3d print it to the exact I ripped the mm. model off the web like i don't say that (laughs) no 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 no. like i i sorry i'm not from the game files itself it's fine it's for like the, it's the modding community it's fine no one's gonna no one's gonna shit on me it's not i'm not selling it or anything no, i know i know i know i know i just thought it was funny that it was just like yeah i stole it um <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure you made it all by yourself colton oh no, that's no, no, cool. no, no, no yeah I are you gonna end myself. up having to um yeah. sit in my living room and try and take this one back together as well or no <laughs> <laughs> so for context Golden no, Kid stayed at my house for the whole weekend. It was great. I didn't talk yeah. to him at all. I fucking saw him like <laughs> twice. Um, but he stayed at my place for like like six days or something. I can't remember. He was a very nice house guest. Um, but he had an issue. It was the sword, right? He, yeah. he he flew out and he had this big sword that was cool. But it did it break or did you just need to put it together here? I it broke remember. and I still needed to put it together. For context, it's the uh, the 
Red Queen from uh, Devil May Cry 5. And, it's a real, uh, like, a big fucking, like, it's not, you know. Anyway, so Colton was, like, frantically trying to get it back together. So yeah. he was he was in, outside my front door, like, in the cement, that's, like, the cement entrance, with, like, metal and drills, trying to, like, bend this sharp piece of metal so he could, like, screw it all into that. And I got, like, text from my landlord being like, hey, is there somebody <laughs> trying to break in? Because all of a sudden it's just a dude with, like, tools, like, fucking really? for five hours. Yeah, he was like, hey, I just found this, like, I think he said tall, lanky white guy with tools. Lanky? And you know who Fuck. he is. <laughs> yeah, he, he said something like that. And I was like, yes, that's my friend. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Um, the yeah, dumb thing, was out there panicking. The dumb thing was to like it, it worked perfectly. Like the idea yeah, it was of, great. Like, I thought like, it was cool. This aluminum a sheet was perfect. Just like be like the spine of the sword, and I like yeah mounted it on perfectly. Except there's a little bit extra that I had that was sticking out at the end, and I didn't know how to cut it in half. So I was like, "Fuck, how do I do this?" But one of my other <clears> friends <throat> just said, "Just make a couple drill like drill a couple of holes inside like or yeah in the middle." So I did three holes, and then I just managed to snap it off in one pole and it perf it was perfectly well not perfectly flush because it was still a little jagged and then it, it just worked. had spikes on the end <laughs> yeah <laughs> even one of the con um safety I don't yeah know, of course yeah. was just like oh, you should probably file that i'm like i will and i never did <laughs> <laughs> well yeah of course you're here for like three days yeah i was there for three days so i was just like ah, i'll do it later and it's somewhere in my room how did you get it back did you take the metal off yeah i just took it i just um, drilled it and took it all apart yeah, that was yeah, that was quite silly. Nice. No, this time I'll I'll be more responsible. More it reminds me of sure when I came will. back from when I was coming back from Disneyland this past year oh, yeah. for my birthday. Yeah, I yeah. made uh I made one of the lightsabers at Galaxy's Edge. Oh, sick. and uh, I was so afraid about bringing it on the plane. <laughs> Yeah, because it it's like just comes in like a long case, right? And I was like, are yeah, they gonna yeah. be like, can't bring this on the plane? And so oh, I was stressing yeah. out the whole time. And then we we're in the lineup, and there was like. 20 people holding lightsabers like <laughs> 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 flying back to vancouver that's great <laughs> oh, yeah. okay they're all just like stuffed in the overhead carriage areas and i was like oh my god i can hopefully i can grab the right one <laughs> but yeah i was so stressed which, out about which that which kyber crystal did you have oh, oh i got the i got the purple one Oh shit! Yeah, okay. Nice, 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 one. One. nice, nice. They yeah, the I got the purple one, but I got the chose the dark side hilt. No, that's it's really cool. cool. Yeah. Looks pretty. Yeah, cool. I've seen videos of people doing that. And I'm always like, ah, oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Honestly, cool. like, purple, what? Why not? I was just gonna it's say, windy, like, right? so it's yeah, it's amazing to do. But uh, I was just gonna say, it's the whole experience of doing it is really fun because they like put like a lot of effort into <laughs> making it look like you're really there. So like you can see pictures and videos of it, but it just does not do it justice. Like it's yeah, I like, bet it's pretty, oh pretty my sick god! When it's when you're walking around, like they have speakers everywhere. Like you can't see them anywhere, but you can hear them because they'll have like ships fly right over top of you, and like the ground mm. will shake and everything. It's crazy. Like it's uh, incredibly, that's incredibly, cool. incredibly cool. good. That's yeah, fun. fun. I found it. Okay, I know there was something unique about the purple uh, kyber crystals. Is oh, because yeah, yeah. they. They share an affiliation with both the light and the dark side. Ah, hey, so Mace Windu's got a little, little, little dark side, well, to a, little, little, a little, little bit of little spice, wow. a little bit of lore, a little bit of back backstory. Alex, mm. what's your what's your backstory of your dark side? <laughs> my backstory for my dark side. <laughs> got some edgy uh. to see there. <laughs> this is the hmm. question we ask all the guests. What's, yeah. dark side? what's your edgy <laughs> side that's a what's terrible your... question what have you done that you're ashamed of what yeah, have you that's... done that people would judge you Why are you gonna what's get your canceled? deepest that's darkest like secret question. here can you force choke people um uh, force lightning at all can you uh, can you force choke people do you, no have... Reason. <laughs> do you have a limited power do you have to be yeah. there or could you like do it remotely can you like do it over zoom or skype sometime <laughs> like discord would it work over discord could you like if you tried right now i'll like help <laughs> <laughs> team player oh, oh my goodness oh no. sorry <laughs> oh no oh, indeed that's cool man yeah, yeah i've cool. never wait, wait. i think the last time i was at yeah. a theme park yeah yeah um i went to like legoland as a kid you know that was kind of like it and my family never did theme park we were always just like in on a lake somewhere in a canoe lost 
I feel like that was our thing. I forget about it. <laughs> well, no, it was just, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Cal, Cal Cal's backstory into, is in I'm guessing, Carl, you've been to, because you're American. It, wait, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, no, it didn't. Isn't there in Ohio? Isn't no, there a Disneyland no, or Disney World or something? No, I grew up in Florida, so I went. Florida is oh, where fucking, Disney. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. Um, yeah, everybody loves Ohio Disney. <laughs> Ohio Disney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I meant just like Florida. I was like, it's, it is. Uh, it is where the Wright brothers. There's a lot of uh, Air Force. The White brother. Oh, the Wright. The Wright brothers. <laughs> the. <laughs> I'm sure there are White brothers. I <laughs> I thought you were like oh, Ohio yeah. racist. That's where, that's where all the were, white there's brothers are. I mean, yeah. I was like, oh my god. The no, no, we're like you know the first, the first plane. Right. Yeah, yeah, all that. So there's a lot of like plane museums, and they have they have like their, their little thing. But yeah, I went to Disney World a bunch of times. Um, Universal. I went to Universal Disneyland once cool. in California. But uh, what what actually? Right. So Calvin, you're saying you haven't been to any at all outside of Legoland? No, I did Legoland as a kid because, like, um. But even, like, yeah, since no. then, like, you haven't just gone to. No, like, Legoland is, like, the rarer one to go to. Like, or at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Legoland's the ones that. Yeah. That's Whatever like... one's near San Diego. Because I went to San did... Diego with my dad once because he, like, the, the company he was working for was, like, we got to send you for a conference for, like, two weeks. Well, we'll just Disneyland send your whole is. Family. Disneyland is close to San Diego. It's in yeah. Orange County. Yeah, I, don't, could I think Disneyland. it's, like, I don't 30 know why minutes we, away. We weren't really, when I was a kid, I was super into Lego. I had, like, tons of Star Wars Lego and stuff. That was kind of like really much my thing. Like it was fun. I'm not saying it wasn't fun. Um, but when we've gone traveling, we usually we usually would do like trips to the interior and go like camping, like canoe, yeah, you know, like carrying a canoe through the woods type of thing. We would do that. That was and then that like, was the like mostly we what we did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's we, fun. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like we never really. We only went on one trip that was like to theme parks in the states, and we did like five theme parks in one trip and it was like that was the big trip of like my childhood and that was only one time but everything it was always mm. camping and stuff that was pretty much what we did yeah if we had if we if we wanted to do we would do like a trip a couple times a year to like you know like the resort um pool type of thing mm. my grandparents had like a timeshare so we would uh, go to that and that was kind of like timeshare. the resort chill out type of um Type of uh, speaking uh, of uh, relaxation. speaking of Disneyland, did you guys see the new animatronic characters they have for their new ride? I did. So, yeah, terrifyingly oh, accurate to like Disney animation. Uh, Disney. It is. Let's see. It is wild. Uh, what which do you call uh, this? What should I look them up? Um, I know. Even, it's like the the Princess and the Frog movie, isn't it? I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I yeah, see it. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's ter it's creepy how good <laughs> there's like oh, wow. one with like yeah. the like the like the fat lady she's like really i don't think that's really, her name really but... good <laughs> well i can't i've never seen the movie <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking at the alligator right now he's just yeah it's insane. it looks like it looks like disney animation in real life it's um because i remember the oh. most expensive animatronic that they ever made was the one of the avatar uh characters right i think it was like the the grandmother of the of the navi and she just oh. moves fluidly it was like 20 million dollars or something mm. so have you guys seen like the presidents like no. the the president's <laughs> I, I i know about this but i've never seen no yeah, i know well, actually i actually saw them in person too yeah oh really it's a, it's a whole yeah they add every president it's like hall of presidents or something and they have animatronics oh, for every president of the U.S. What? Do you think there's ever really? been a day where they just actually brought George Bush in and they got rid of his animatronic and they're like, just stand there? <laughs> and just, oh, just that's... to fuck with like the 30 people that saw it that day? That's a conspiracy. <laughs> they're all that's real. So weird. Yeah, they're all real. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, I like the, no. They're like the heads yeah. like in Futurama that just... <laughs> Just oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> basically yeah, yeah the Vixen, body's yeah. the animatronic like, yeah, once they die off they just oh, oh no that's no, yeah, that's, that is, that is yeah i'm looking at it now that's who would want to see that oh that's who? creepy man i don't like that <laughs> it's one of those things you know you just gotta you know, gotta appreciate i think when i did there's like you? five people <laughs> i didn't say i actually appreciate it there were like five other people in the the whole place when we went so it's not the most. What's well, like everybody just him being like, "Oh wow!" That's... What are they? I don't have audio. 
You got. You have to. Re, you have to. You're forgetting how patriotic us Americans are. You know. We gotta, That's true. You gotta go see all the president. I'm surprised they don't have you don't Donald have Trump's you. red tie on. They have somebody else in a red tie. Yeah, Donald what, Trump doesn't have a red Donald. tie. That's strange. Does Donald Trump have a have oh, a speech? Oh God, they stand up. <laughs> Yeah, he's a little, that'd be funny if everybody's quiet, like, like, but he's just talking. Obama just, <laughs> just doing this the entire time. Just... Don't be rude. <laughs> if you get a cough, leave the room. They all give. They all give a. They all give a little speech. I think it was controversial. Oh, did Trump? Oh yeah, yeah why Trump's is, going right now. Look at that. Why is Trump's neck so skinny? What are you talking about? He's a skinny, perfect man. But it's like compared to wonderful his shape. jaw, it's just like. Tapered in. How dare you? Oh god, these are so uncanny. These are definitely uh, uncanny, yeah. Uh... Yeah. This is one of those things where it's like, this is definitely somebody in his sixties with too much power who's like, you know what people would love. We need I think we I need mean to I see think all it... the animatronic presidents. I'm it's pretty like, sure that is on. I need to verify, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the OG exhibits from like Yeah, no, one hundred percent from yeah, um... yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, this is gonna sell tickets. Everyone yeah. wants the presidents. The people <laughs> these days are patriotic. I don't know why I'm doing Nixon. Um, <laughs> is that what that was? <laughs> that was bad Nixon. <laughs> what a weird... Oh, this is creepy. Is there even video know, of, like, Nixon jokes anymore? Is that like a... Nixon. Yeah, right. It's not even like the Zoomers. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like it. our generation like, bar like, is that barely knows not Nixon a jokes. I know, but our generation knows them because of all of the jokes. Like, I feel because like, of like Family Guy and like, and all we're the getting stuff past we that age. We're even Family Guy and Simpsons is old school. Like these yeah, yeah I guess like like less so. It's like written shows are influencing culture, and it's all just like TikTok and kind of creator yeah. stuff. That's so weird as hell. Oh yeah, Hall yeah, of Presidents. Nineteen seventy one was when it opened. Ugh, so that's right. close to. Have you guys? Have you guys talked you at all about? Uh... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I was just changing the subject. <laughs> yeah, <go ahead. laughs> um, I was got? gonna say. I was gonna say. Did you guys? Uh, have you guys looked into or heard anything about the updates with uh, Unreal Five Point Four? You guys talked about that at all? No, not at all. No? Actually, no. They got a really cool tessellation feature now, where you can like manipulate the geometry of a plain ground with just the roughness textures. It like creates geometry based on the on like the height oh. map grayscale values as an alpha, and yeah, like so can they, actually. Do you have to bake it out, or is it just live? I don't know exactly how the process they... is, but I'm pretty sure it's just like live. You can just adjust yeah, it. Is. In, they added to their na cool. it's nanite displacement now. So nanite. Yeah, nanite like displacement, nanite right? Nanite, where it yeah. needs to displace. I've yeah. worked with I worked with renders from Unreal, and like there's issues, like you don't get a lot of passes. But at mm. the same time, we didn't have to do much to them because they looked like really good. It was like the rocky terrain. Like it was very much like an Unreal Perfect thing, like rocky terrain outside with like bits of grass scattered around and like mountainous stuff. Um, and it was really good. We didn't have to really do much to it, so it was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, like they're even doing it with environments are amazing. Like they're yeah. even doing it with uh, like snow as well. Like if you had like say the same area, but it had snow on it now, and like a different time of like in period in the game, like you can just mm -hmm. adjust like your slider to the point where like snow just builds up, and it's like you can build up and you can have it melt away, and it's literally all just based on like nano displacement. And like, there's, it's all geometry too. It's like creating the geometry live as it's working. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Like to watch yeah. it happen. Yeah, I'm watching it now. Yeah, it's nine hours ago. Yeah, this is pretty recent. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was it's pretty just, cool. That uh, that's getting to the point where you can kind of just like not worry about like a lot of stuff. Like, oh, I want mm -hmm. this to be crazy detailed and display. So like, well, I don't have to make it super efficient. You just throw it on there, and Unreal will kind of just do it for do you. It. I'm sure, you still have to yeah, worry about performance and stuff, but. Less than he used to. The rendering volumes as well. I think. Yeah. Has that been the thing? That's been the thing for a while. You're talking about like VDBs, Even like full on, yeah. Yeah, that's been there for. That's been, I think that's a couple been of years. Thing years a like CS:GO. I mean, this is a completely different engine, but people have figured out how to kind of do like okay. I I, I know I've seen it, but like I haven't seen it look this good in this trailer I'm watching. This mm -hmm. is like a full on. Little maybe I'm just behind the. I think behind the. It's been it's I mean, since five. I want to say two or three. I think they added 
five three. I more think, support for it here. Yeah. I mean, all this mm. stuff is like cool and awesome. Don't get me wrong; it looks dope. And outside of like using it for renders, it's not showing up in games for. It's in fucking... games right now. We've had this conversation every time <laughs> we're talking about Unreal. <laughs> <No. Kevin. laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Uh, what games are Unreal? No, no, no. What games are Unreal Five? Is my point. Like, there's a always lot. a bit of a lag time. Is what, Fortnite. What I'm trying to say. Fortnite. I don't know if I've been out for fucking... years now. <laughs> Unreal, Unreal is Five is the standard now. Unreal, Unreal Five has been out for so long. Senwa Saga, Hellblade Two, uh, uh, that's coming out. Justice League, Kill the Justice League. Uh, okay, Layers sorry. Of fear. <laughs> Dark Dark game. Game. Great game. <laughs> the Lords of the Fallen. I don't know if you played that. It looks really uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Isn't Life of, not Life of Pi. Life of P. Lies of P. I mean, there's Lies. games that, that are in five. Okay, cool. sure. But like, for example, Ark. That's just to name like a big game. It's like mm -hmm. the first thing on the list. Ark looks like shit. Like it doesn't look like something that's taking advantage of Namvik and all these volumes. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you remember like, yeah, I do real... use it, but it's like I think I'm also he... my point is it's not in as many games yeah. as like, I feel like I would hope. But like, well, you I know, think five, a, 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 I think a huge point of that too, like a huge part of that is like five. Five has been out for a little bit, but it's not been out for like long enough to have like these crazy, really, really top tier games and like be made with it. Like that, you know, like all, yeah, I should have said it. Like it, that. it takes like five, us. like five, six years, seven years to like make a really, really good game sometimes, yeah. right? And then like like the uh, uh, Wukong that Chinese uh, developed. I, I just saw that Black Myth Wukong. Is that out? I don't think that's no. Like, what are you thinking? Yeah, uh, the 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 new. Um... That like yeah. Captain America and Black Panther game. That's what like they've been using oh, yeah. to show. I think even yeah. Unreal yes. five point four. Yeah, is that actually that game? Cool oh, stuff. It just oh, it looks really demo. really good. The uh, yeah, the the lighting and like the uh, rendering effects that they can do and they they, they will that they showcase in that sort of demo are really really impressive. Yeah, yeah, and they're using all like the new uh, meta human like animator stuff mm -hmm. that works like. Pretty oh well, yeah, their cool. their animation yeah. system is incredible too now. Like the I've like been the, hearing about that. Based on I, like say your character's running a certain direction, like whatever its oh, yeah. body type is like right in that moment where you're about to turn. Like say you're running straight but on a little right. bit of an angle and then you want to like cut left a bit. So basically whatever motion your character is in in that exact moment as you're turning left, it like scans all of the like animations basically all and chooses the that, one that yeah. is the most closest to and then we'll transition that way but it all happens like within a second like within a split second it's incredible yeah, yeah it's their uh, motion matching uh, system that's what it was called mm -hmm. it was right yeah i was so excited about that when i first saw it because i think it's available to download just to try uh, to play around with um yeah i'm super excited for that they yeah. also have like a I new rigging it. system too yeah like their their rigging is all redone too now yeah, I, I think they said that uh, their uh, Lego Fortnite was all like rigged and animated in Unreal, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, been, the I've Lego been... the Lego Fortnite looks really good too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've been hearing that even like some Viva Studios, they're like transitioning all of their animators to work directly in Unreal as opposed to oh, yeah. publishing to it. So it could be uh... cool. Yeah. Death of Maya. Maya's gone. <clears throat> <gasps> all right. <laughs> You got Unreal Five with the USD support too. Oh, Unreal Houdini mix. Why is it done? Yeah, you get all the ports <laughs> now. Every software is getting a port to Unreal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Yeah. Oh no. And then yeah. Autodesk will buy Unreal. Shut up! No Don't way. say that. No, wait, there's <laughs> I, no I, way that happens. I don't know what said. Disney. Disney's gonna buy Epic. Is right. Yeah, Disney's gonna buy Epic. I don't then, think. There we go. That's a lot of money. Wait. And then the... Adobe's gonna buy Disney. <laughs> no <Right>. way. <laughs> no, Apple's yeah. gonna buy Disney, right? That's the that's the rumor going around, right? Oh, that's crazy. Jeez. But uh, Jeez. no, yeah. yeah, Unreal is pretty cool. Have you done any yes. uh any cool little side pieces, Alex? Yep. Yep. Did yeah, a yeah. couple. I did a. I just did a big landscape project for uh um one of my clients back east for uh like big i think it's like it's i don't know exactly what it is but it looks like a big government facility is going on it so i needed a big nice piece nice. of landscape created to like match the real life environment so i did that which is pretty cool 
Yeah. Did match to real life? So did you like look up scans and stuff, or was it kind of by yeah? So or? he uh, he sent me like some reference photos of the area, and then I had to sort of match it up as best I could. But yeah, it looked it worked out really well, and I had a bunch of procedural generation stuff in it too that I had to figure out. So that was Wait, what fun. was this environment again? Sorry, like, what was the? It was uh, like a environment back east. Um, okay. Like I again exactly know where it was exactly just sent me photos of the area but it looks like nova scotia almost some sort of big facility uh, so it's being a put rock out there. surrounded by water <laughs> yeah it, it, it was yeah. basically yeah it it's like, like a like lighthouse that. as a keeper and for some reason there's like one guy in a yellow fishing outfit yeah. screaming at the camera <laughs> <laughs> get away from me don't take photos of me <laughs> that's not that's not nova <laughs> I like how Golden drinks anything vaguely east of water. Immediate <laughs> Irish slash Scottish accent. I have an close this is a, it's a lighthouse keeper. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's a lighthouse keeper. Okay, yeah, sure. From Scotland. Oh, God. That's dope, dude. That sounds fun. That sounds yeah, really it was cool. pretty fun. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Did that. And do you do all your stuff exclusively in Unreal, or do you still kind of multi pack uh, back and forth? I, it it's like all over. I mean, like that was Gaia and Unreal. Nice. And then, oh, Gaia! All right, yeah. you, is Gaia getting an update too, like two point or something? Oh yeah, yeah. But Gaia, big, big Gaia is now going to have a big plugin for Unreal too. Yeah, oh, that would wow. be nice. Really? Yeah, because yeah, be to, to export to Gaia to Unreal right now is like it's kind of janky. Where it's like it tells you like the measurements and stuff, but then you bring it on Unreal, it's like okay, well you have to like divide the the height of your thing by like a certain number to get it into like the right things, and like the width you got to choose the right one. It's all kind of weird. Mm. So a nice button will be nice. <laughs> we can't just export just the OBJs and. You could, yeah, but I think you could set it up with all of, like Unreal's like, landscapey stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, but it's been pretty cool. I've done a few projects like that. Um, yeah, yeah. I un I unfortunately have to run. <laughs> so it's all I good. Well, all well, good. Thanks for joining. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually a good time. To yeah. 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 Appreciate it's great it. To have it's you fun. on. I'm sure we'll have you back sometime. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Well, thanks awesome. everybody. We'll see you next week. See ya. Goodbye. Bye. Look forward to fifth. Look forward to our fiftieth episode. What is this special? What? Big old big what? extravaganza. No. It'll be no big. Counts. It'll be Shut crazy up. big. It'll be. Ex ex All right. Goodbye. <laughs> be cool. <laughs>